Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on the Crypto Channel. I am Rich, and I am once again making another video on XRP today. As always, I am with you. Here we are, going to talk about XRP, and I hope that each and every one of you is having a beautiful day today, no matter where you are in this amazing planet. To reiterate, this is the chart for a single day alone. Right now, we are only a few cents short of 60 cents. Everyone were enthusiastic about the fact that XRP turned green today, which was a result of this four cent move. Is this indeed the moment of breakthrough? When exactly is it going to take place? Because we are all excited by the possibility that it will occur at any moment. You are aware that those who are pessimistic will tell you that we are going to draw back down below 50 cents, but all of the chart people who do the charts are saying that you should expect to see an increase on the charts for the remainder of the year. You can see that we are right here if you take the number of days that we have seen in the past, which amounted to 800, and multiply that number by itself. This would only be reflected up throughout the remaining months of the year 2024. There are still a lot of significant events that have not yet taken place for XRP in this year. Keep in mind that Ripple is about to make an announcement on that new stablecoin. It is going to be broadcast live. The next step is to determine whether or not the Securities and Exchange Commission C intends to file an appeal against the judge's judgment. I am not anticipating any kind of attraction at all. Ripple is going to be responsible for paying the fee, and I believe that we will be able to proceed with our plans. Further than that, however, you have ISO and Fed now at your disposal. Additionally, there is the alt season, which is a typical cycle of the alt season in which utility may begin to take effect sometime in the middle of the pattern. Additionally, there is the potential for pandemonium to occur as a result of a recession and an increase in inflation that is even worse. Because of this, I was extremely confused about where we are going to go from here as I watched that most recent video. I also believe that we are going to follow a run for XRP that occurred between 2017 and 2018 because there is nothing that is preventing us from doing so this time around. We are aware that XRP is not a security, and the case between Ripple and the SEC is pretty much over at this point. What exactly took place in the year 2018? In 2018, XRP, it seemed possible that this might occur once more. A warning has been given to you. It was at that time that XRP overtook Bitcoin in terms of market capitalization and became the most valuable cryptocurrency. It is possible that this will occur once more. The maximum Bitcoin holders operate as if this has never taken place. On the other hand, we were all present to see it. After then, the meteoric increase of XRP in 2017 is what drew the attention of a great number of international financial organizations. The rise was so great that it made Ripple worth more than every bank in the world, with the exception of 20 of them, and this is something that has been documented. Ever since then, there has been a steady increase in the institutional interest in the XRP cryptocurrency. XRP is attracting a lot of interest from financial institutions banks for this reason. Take note of Japan. Take a look at the manner in which they discuss XRP. Take, for example, the manner that people in Korea talk about XRP. To tell you the truth, it is just a matter of time before each and every bank in the United States want to make use of RippleNet and XRP solutions. Fixing the entire banking system is what it does. The cycle continues. In addition, there is a greater amount of liquidity in the system than there was in the year 2017. And there is an increase in the number of collaborations, as well as the number of institutions that are adopting cryptocurrency. In 2017, even without all of these, XRP still managed to outperform both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Take notes on it. A month's worth of over a 350 times. People in general are not prepared for what is going to happen. Therefore, if we continue to follow 2017 into 2018, you may anticipate a 350x increase, which will put the price of XRP above $200. When I read these articles in which individuals make predictions about the prices of things, I always find that every single one of them is predicting that the prices would be higher than three digits in the following run. On the basis of previous cycles and market capitalization, those who are pessimistic would tell you that this is beyond the realm of possibility yet, it has previously occurred in the past. Once more, it is possible. In addition, you should take a look at what has transpired with Ripple since the year 2018 for this particular instance. They moved in the direction of tokenization. That is a really significant issue at the moment. Moreover, they work toward obtaining custody. That is a really significant issue at the moment. They opened up rails in every single country on the planet. After that, they went from being a firm based in the United States to becoming a global company. However, there are still others who believe that XRP will never reach three digits. It will ultimately take place. Ripple and Stellar are considered to be unique blockchain infrastructure technologies by BNY Mellon. It is right in front of you, Ripple and Stellar, and it is extraordinary. It is due to the fact that BNY Mellon are aware of the capabilities that XRP and XLM possess. Take into consideration what takes place right now when you want to send money, for example, from the United States to the United Kingdom, and you choose to use a wire transfer. It will take all three days. Additionally, throughout the entirety of that time period, you are pondering whether or not that transaction is going to be successful. Suppose you were to use XRP or XLM. 
When you finally hang up the phone, the money has already been transferred to the person on the other end of the line. The ability of XRP and XLM to change the game is exactly like that. As a cryptocurrency, SAB 121 is equivalent to its fair value. It is clear to you. Therefore, in accordance with SAB 121, an organization that is accountable for the protection of cryptocurrency assets for a platform is required to include a liability on its balance sheet at the fair value of the asset in order to represent that commitment. Therefore, what would be the appropriate price for XRP? BNY Mellon is going to have an advantage over their rivals as a result of the fact that they are now able to have custody of crypto assets or digital assets. There is no doubt that it will be eager for other financial institutions to come and want to do the same thing. Starting from this point forward, each and every bank is going to be interested in managing digital assets. But on the other hand, what would the value of the market be? Utility and use case would be the basis for this decision. Are you referring to the fact that XRP provides liquidity on demand as the basis for this? The fact that it can transfer money from one country to another in a matter of seconds is a remarkable capability. There are flaws in the system. Are you familiar with the bank in Wyoming? That small bank that was. Dealing with digital assets was told by the SEC that they were not allowed to participate in that activity. Now, they have given B&Y Mellon the go-ahead to proceed with their plans. JP Morgan is going to be given permission to proceed with the project. It has been decided that Goldman Sachs will be given permission to proceed. Exactly this is the problem with the United States of America. The country is a pay-to-play location. If you want to play in this country, you will be required to pay a fee. On the XRP ledger by the third quarter. The third quarter will expire on September 30th. It is highly likely that Ripple will introduce RLUSD by the end of the third quarter. Is there going to be a connection between this tokenization of gold and RLUSD? On top of that, that is an excellent question. As far as I can tell, the RLUSD will be supported by anything of value that is recorded on the XRP ledger. There is a possibility that they will even support RLUSD with XRP at some point in the future, particularly when the value of XRP increases. In addition, why would you want the RLUSD to be backed by the US dollar in a 1-1 ratio? Due to the fact that the value of the United States dollar is continually decreasing, I am certain that they will also back it with other things. In the future, we will have additional information. Tether will not be subject to the stablecoin regulations in the United States. Those that are devoted to Tether have the option of disregarding this warning, but doing so will put them in danger entirely. It is my intention to demonstrate that the era of Tether is coming to an end. Make the necessary preparations. It was even said by the CEO of Tether that they do not require either the United States or Europe. Give that some thought. In light of this, what does this mean for Tether moving forward? After then, they won't require the United Kingdom. In that case, they won't require China. Due to the fact that every single nation is going to have regulations that are similar to Mecca, they won't require Russia. You are going to see the same restrictions that are already in place in the European Union and the United States because that is the way that things are going to move forward. At this point, everything is going worldwide. It is no longer acceptable to say, okay, this country has regulations that we do not like, so we are not going to deal with that country. Even legislation pertaining to cryptocurrencies are likely to be implemented on a global scale. Considering that this is the way to proceed when you want to make payments across international borders, we have heard them discuss it on several occasions in the earlier times. Regulations are the only thing that is preventing cryptocurrency from gaining traction. They are also the only thing that might halt the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC in its tracks and usher in a new wave of institutional adoption to a degree that we have never witnessed anything like it before. Take a look at David Schwartz. Almost no cryptocurrency is being used for financial transactions. In addition to having cheap fees and quick confirmations, XRP is one of the top five cryptocurrencies in terms of market capitalization. For the same reason that no cryptocurrency is truly being used for payments very much at the moment, I do not believe that it is utilized for payments significantly more than it is. The rules are what are holding down XRP. It is for the same reason that Gary at the SEC has not provided us with a discernible way to move forward. But do you know what's going to happen? It was during Gary Gensler's time. Also, the SEC is going to be led by a new individual in the near future. There is